In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix slow rendering issues in Adobe Media Encoder. So the first thing you want to do is just head over to an internet browser and from a search engine, you just want to type in NVIDIA app download and hit enter. Now for everyone using an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to download the official NVIDIA app, which is this top website here, and then just press this download now button. You'll need to go through the steps to install this to your computer. And once it's installed, you can then launch up the NVIDIA app. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, card, then you can just move on to the next step. So once you're in the NVIDIA application, click on drivers from the left hand side and change this from game ready driver to studio driver like so. And then just click on this download button here to download the latest drivers to your device. The studio drivers provide much better performance for creative apps. If you do use your computer a lot for gaming, then you can also download the game ready drivers. But for this demonstration, we'll be using the studio ones. So once you've finished installing these, we can head over to the Adobe Media Encoder. And the first thing you want to do is down in this right right hand side, make sure the renderer is set to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration and then in brackets CUDA. Once you've done that, we're going to click on Edit from the top navigation and select Preferences. In the General tab, you want to make sure all of your options are set like mine are on the screen here. And down in the Video Rendering section, once again, just make sure this is set to GPU Acceleration in brackets CUDA. Then we're going to click on the Media tab from the left hand side. Next to Media Cache Data, just click on this Clean button. And then give that a few seconds while it cleans up your database. Click on memory from the left hand side and then ensure this RAM reserve for other applications is set to its minimum amount. So we can do that by scrolling it either to the left or the right. So for this case, we want to make sure it's all the way down to the left. All this simply means is it will apply more memory to your Adobe applications and less memory to your background tasks. And this will only take effect when your Adobe applications are open on your computer. Then we're going to click on sync settings from the left hand side and where it says when syncing, make sure to set this as ask my preference. And then you can just save all of these changes and close out of this window. So now you can try exporting your project from Premiere Pro or Illustrator, and that should have now fixed any rendering issues you were experiencing. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.